it crashes. Oh, here we go, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Five medium Roosevelt elk. Whoa. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Darth Sloan here. Wow. What an awesome trophy. And don't you love it when you come across one like that that's guaranteed? And the only way that you're going to mess that up is, well, if you mess it up. It really didn't take that long to grind up. It, uh, I was still kind of fine tuning my, my setup. I hadn't killed, I don't know, maybe 50. It didn't take long at all. And there's a lot of them and there's some really nice herds. Um, uh, as I was going along, I was starting to lose a few males here and there, but I think that's by design now. Um, I'd searched my map, the coastline. I don't like fooling with much. One of my new challenges is to get some fresh trophies, maybe some diamonds, rares, and things like that for the new cabin style lodge for Leighton Lakes. I'm gonna walk you through my rotation today and we're gonna shoot a few Roosevelt elk. All right, guys, this is where I got my diamond Roosevelt elk earlier this morning, right here out of this zone. I like to start my grind here. It is opening week of the showcase DLC. So you can see here, they're not all here yet. I do like to change my time, guys, until 5 o'clock. As you can see, it's 5.19 right now. Uh, they drink from 4 to 8, but I don't like hunting in the dark, and I don't like having to pack those Gen Zero binoculars. So I just change it for 5 o'clock, and we start hunting then. So, but I'll usually shoot one or two over there, depending on if there's three or four over there. I don't ever like to leave one animal alive. I always try to leave two alive. Uh, because they won't spawn back if you leave less than that. All right, and then I like to go here. Let's say I've shot some there. This tent here is a little closer, so I'll hop in a four-wheeler and go pick them up. After I shoot a couple here out of this other zone we're going to look at. So out of this area, I usually kill about six elk. Let's see if any of them are here. Everybody has different goals. My goal here was not to... to super rare ground or anything like that. So there was really no point in me herd managing. I do like a little hybrid, like I've always kind of done this because I'm not really a super rare grinder. I never really have been. They're not here yet. Uh, we'll go see if these are here though. So it depends on what your goal is. If you're going to stay with an animal for a long time, get multiple diamonds and try to get a super rare, then herd manage. I mean, do it. Herd manage. If that's your goal, if that's what you want, if you're wanting to shoot that many. For me, throughout my Call of the Wild career, herd management has had its place. It depends on what my goal was. But 90% of the time, my goal is to get that one diamond and move on to the next animal. I go into work every day and I make a list of everything I need to do and I check off everything as I do it. I kind of do that with this game too. I'm like, okay, I got to have this diamond, this diamond, this diamond, this diamond, and I get it and I move on. That's why I don't have a lot of rares or super rares because I normally don't stick with animals very long. Not showed up yet or this is the case of some of the animals just disappearing and forming zones elsewhere, and I got lucky and got my diamond fairly early. Great one grinding. I'm setting up. I'm herd managing, okay, because I you're going to probably have to kill thousands to get a great one anyway. Chances are you want to get as many diamonds as possible to spawn so that you can try to get a super rare. Doesn't really affect your diamond spawn, your, your great one spawn, though. That's all RNG. So if you don't care about rares, just shoot whatever. My only rule, and I don't really call this herd managing, but my only rule right now, I don't shoot level ones or small twos to begin with. Now, if I got to the point to where that's all I had to shoot, I'd shoot them. But just like in real life hunting, you got a three standing beside a two, which one are you shooting? You're going to shoot the three, right? So that's what I did. I shot my fours. I shot my threes. I didn't fool with the twos or ones. I don't think I shot a single two or one while I was doing this. I treated it like I was real life hunting. And so 
not really hard managing except for taking the part where you don't shoot the small ones. So I, the only step I take when I'm trying to get one diamond, just don't shoot the small stuff. That's it. That's all. It's simple. It's uh, you get your one diamond, you move on. But like I said, you're not going to get super rares doing this. It depends on what your goal is. All right, we got more coming in here. To the left of this river, you're not going to find any. You're not going to find any on the river or to the left of the river. I don't even know that I have any. Did I have any there? I don't think I had any on this whole part. But now I did start getting them all up and down here. Uh, we'll go here. But I think this is a zone of three. Uh, when you have a zone of three, just shoot one. If you shoot two, you might as well just go ahead and shoot the third <laughs> and blow the zone out. Because if you leave one animal alive, you're not getting respawns out of that zone. So I don't like hunting zones of three. I do sometimes, especially if there's a max weight in it. Now here's a, is this a zone of three or... Or is it a zone of of two right now? I don't know. I think I would have scoured my map had that diamond not popped. I would have to go scour my map for some more for some more uh, elk because I think I've got a bunch of new zones that I've got a lot of missing elk that happened, and I was already planning on doing that, and my five medium popped this morning. But that's what you got to do as they start disappearing like that. So, okay, there's just a lot there that we didn't see. So let's put let's put some of them down. There's four over there, so ideally I would like to kill two of them. We got two level threes there that are volunteering as tribute. Let's see what we got. That one lowered his head. That gave us just enough time to get on him. So he did. And he did. Okay. So we can walk over here and get these two. Um, so there's us a couple. Let's go see if we got anything going on here. This is a class eight animal, so you can use the 300 if you want. You can use the seven millimeter, but in my experience, ooh, that boy's nice. There's a couple of really nice ones there, and there's a coyote. But there is a nice couple, couple of not really nice elk down there. We got to shoot that big boy right there. I mean, he's juicy. I didn't even see that guy. Look here, guys. We got two max weights here. Oh, they're not spread out enough, are they? No, nope, they're going to spook. It's going to be tough getting both of these, but we can try. He's going to be over that bank quicker than that one is, so I think we need to put him down first. Shoot him. Oh, shoot. Oh, God. He is gone. I don't think we're going to get him, but we may have... Yeah, we dropped him. All right, let's go get him. 342.7. Very nice looking elk right there. Nice go. 1200 bucks right there. They pay well. All right. Here's another good spot. Well, they're just not going to spawn in for me right now. All right. So anyway, keep checking Balmont Lake. There's a nice herd right there for me sometimes. There's a herd here. It's just got like little females and stuff in it. Chela Lake. Females for me. I was going to move that tent. Turns out I didn't have to. Um, I can't remember if I had anything there. I do have some zones here that had some males in it. This was my favorite zone. Let's head back to where I got this. Diamond Rocky Mountain Elk earlier today. All right, guys. As you can see, small lake. We've got some here. I'll just kind of show you what I do. There's another level four. That's, that's a beaut. I would go down here. I usually get in this blind, although I was getting ready to change it out for a, a, a tripod shot that I need to take. There's a level four. See, I can't see good in here. I'm just going to shoot the level four for the purposes of this video. 
and let's see what what we can do. Mmm, a little heart shot action. There's either three or four there. I'm not not sure how many. Oh, we did have another one. Oh, there's another. Oh wait. Well, I might as well just let them go now. I should have took the one three. I saw another one, didn't know what it was. Figured I'd check it out. But this is how I handle this. You see the drink zone here. You see what's going on. We got two Roosevelt Elk drinking here. I did kill my diamond right there. So I think that zone, I think sometimes when you kill a diamond, that zone just, that, that just deletes sometimes. I feel like sometimes it takes two small ones and combines them and gives you one big one. I, I don't know. I could be wrong. Just wanted to show you how this invisibility thing works again with this zone right here. This is how you should hunt this zone. It's an awesome zone. Uh, you see, they're not there. You're not going to see them yet because we're just 153 meters away. We just walked through that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk down the hill here because we've, we'll go pick that one up here in a second too. But we got to get a little over 200 meters away here and then we can hunt that zone over there too. And then when I pick them up, I can just fast travel over there and pick them up. But he should be there now. Or two of them should be there. There might be even a separate zone. It seems like there's two different zones there. And we got to pick this other bad boy up. We've got a level four laying here. Yeah, we've got, it's multiple herds. So you've got multiple herds, uh, probably a herd of three and a herd of two over there. And we just walk through the middle of them. But look at that. Every one of them's level twos. Uh, so it would probably get to the point to where I would shoot a couple of those. Even though I don't like shooting small ones. I would pick the biggest twos out and shoot them. But that, this is a very good lake. You can see there, there's a nice goad. And then here, ladies got them hunting. Or got a zone here. I got this zone here. This is usually a good zone. <laughs> All right, guys, um, so you got them on the coast right here. You got them here. I do have a zone there. They're up and down this river here. They're up in this fork here at that lake there. I didn't really have anything but females here at these three spots. We probably check them. They're around here or two. Uh, I do have a zone here that's got some males in it that I can step down here a little closer and, and shoot. Might, might want to put a retrieval tent over there because that's a big lake lot here in this area i didn't have anything there i did have one little zone here uh, mushroom lake i killed a nice melanistic right here um ladies got them there i've got them here almont lake a little bit here on this end and that's about where all my hot spots are for roosevelt elk so good luck out there hunting I will leave you with the footage of me shooting my diamond Roosevelt elk. Whoa. Look at that bad boy right there. 385 to 457. Somebody tell me that's guaranteed. I want to hear that that's guaranteed. 155. I like it. Raise your head up, sir. Raise your head up. Yeah, baby. Mm. Yes. That's guaranteed. Whoop. Mm. That was not a long grind at all. I don't have to fool with the coast. Oh, I hate hunting coastlands, guys. Y'all just don't know. Diamond 394. Taxidermize, baby. Mm. Put him right here. Where he goes. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that bad boy right there.